All right, today we're talking about the most underrated tip to start improving your in-game knowledge and situational awareness in rank play in competitive COD, so let's get right into it. All right, so to display this tip, I'm gonna be using uh, Shotzi Gameplay, just an example, just so you guys can see uh, from your point of view what he's doing every time he dies. So that's where the big tip comes into play. Every time you die, you want to be getting new information by cycling through your teammates. So I'll show you exactly what he does. He's playing some eights with, I believe, Clay, Asim, and I believe Parasite. So they just started a Fortress Hardpoint. They started on bad side, flipped the spawns, and now they're playing from the good side. So he's gonna get this first kill on Vivid, but then end up getting traded by a BZ. And look what he does off his death. He's not waiting to respawn, he's cycling through his teammates. He's pressing that R1 button to start looking at what his teammates are doing. So when he comes off spawn, he knows exactly what to do. So let's let's rewind that real quick right again. So he goes through his teammates, he's seeing their perspectives so that he knows exactly what his job is off spawn. So let's rewind it real quick, he dies, he goes to Clay's point of view, he sees Ace in point of view, he goes to Parasite's point of view. All three point of views of his teammates are covered by the time he respawns, and now he knows exactly what to do. He knows that these guys are all pushed up here, and now he can watch the back for his team. Because he spawned bottom art here, he actually knows that there's someone in the back here, and he starts looking for them. You know, this is a really good tip to start improving your game knowledge and situational awareness by actively doing something off of your spawn. You know, you don't wanna be the one that's dying and just losing full during that respawn timer. You wanna be actively doing something so that you can help your team even more even off of your death like that time that you're spent looking at other people's point of views during that respawn timer is time that you're not going to have to be thinking right when you spawn up you know basically you can probably even predict where you're going to spawn based on where your teammates are at and this is going to really improve your game knowledge players at the top level uh, probably don't even need to cycle sometimes but it is still good information and you're not doing anything else anyways during that time. So we'll keep going here. He ends up getting killed by this guy. He knows he's in the back, but he does die to him uh, because he's on this heady. But as you can see here, he dies once again, goes to Clay's point of view, goes to Parasite's point of view. He doesn't have time for ASIMs, but again, he's still actively developing that habit. And that's something that a lot of new players can do. And I know even some pro players don't even do this all the time, but it's a really good way to start improving that game knowledge and even being able to actually communicate for your teammates. You know, if they are in a situation and you know what they should be doing, you can try calming that and start becoming that more communicative teammate or being that leader that you can be uh, with talents like this. So, and this tip is especially good for rank play because a lot of times you don't even have teammates that are using their mic. So this is an easy way to know what they're doing because obviously they're not calming it. So you'll still know uh, how your team is playing at a certain moment, even if they're not using microphones. You know, this is a really good tip for respawn. In search, it's a little bit different, obviously, because you are uh, permanently dead. But uh, in respawn, you're you're not doing anything during that time. And I know there was a problem in this game where during the death timer, there would be the black screen because of a bug in the game. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you could still do it in rank play. And for the majority of Call of Duty games, or pretty much all of them, you're going to be able to do this in your game. So it's really important to actually start developing this habit because of how much you can actually improve with it. Again, once he dies, he goes to click point of view goes to a simple point of view he spawns up so he's still doing it he's gaining this habit but again really developing these habits is going to improve your gameplay style and help you start winning rank play kings actually developing this habit in rank play and even telling your teammates to do the same thing is really going to get you in in better situations because you're going to be seeing more on the map uh, while you're dead so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys like some tips like this for rank play uh, and i'll see you guys in the next one